construction of linkage map which tells about the relative position of genes on chromosomes. The steps involved are developing the mapping population, DNA isolation, PCR analysis, urea page, generation of marker data and use of map maker. The first step is developing the mapping population. The parents have major difference in submergence tolerance trait. F13A rice variety having submergence tolerance. Another submergence susceptible parent is CO43 which is the high yielding variety. These two plants are screened for submergence tolerance artificially. F13A tolerant genotypes and CO43 susceptible genotypes are kept in 120 cm tubs containing water. Here on 14th day, the controlled and stressed plants are compared for both F13A parent and CO43 susceptible parent. CO43 is highly affected due to submergence. Then they are kept for desubmergence. F13A can recover itself when subjected to desubmergence. These two parents are crossed and F1 population is raised. These F1 plants are screened for submergence tolerance. These F1 heterozygotes can recover themselves when they are kept for desubmergence. The F1 heterozygotes are self and F2 population is raised. These F2 population will be our mapping population. DNA will be isolated from the each plant of the F2 population. The reagents required are isoamyl alcohol, sodium acetate, TE buffer, mecaptoethanol, phenol chloroform and CTAP buffer. The leaf samples are ground with CTAP buffer and transferred to a centrifuge tube. Beta mecaptoethanol and polyvinyl chloride are added and kept in water bath for 20 minutes. After adding chloroform isoamyl alcohol, it is centrifuged. The top aqueous layer contains DNA is transferred and phenol chloroform is added and kept for second centrifugation. To the supernatant, 3M sodium acetate and ice cold isopropanol are added and kept for third centrifugation. The pellet is washed with the ethanol and air dried. Finally, the pellet will be dissolved in 1x TE buffer. DNA extraction in short. To avoid RNA contamination, it may be treated with RNAs. In agarose gel electrophoresis unit, the samples are loaded with dye. DNA bands are observed. The DNA will be quantified finally. The next step is PCR analysis. Each DNA sample is amplified. The PCR reaction mixture contains water, 10x PCR buffer to maintain the pH of the reaction, DNTPs to provide purines and primidines primer to bind to the complementary sequences tag polymerase and finally genomic DNA this contents are mixed well and kept in PCR machine then we move on to setting the PCR The PCR tubes are placed in PCR machine and PCR conditions are set. 
The annealing temperature varies according to the marker we use. The reaction may take 4 hours to complete. Finally, the amplified samples are stored at 4 degrees Celsius. The next step is urea page. The reagents required are acrylamide, APS, timid, bindsaline, rind repellent, developer, fixer and steiner. The IPC chamber and outer glass plate are cleaned with alcohol. IPC chamber is coated with rind repellent and glass plate is coated with bindsaline. The comb is cleaned with alcohol and the spacers are also cleaned and the spacers are placed in between the side of the two plates. The comb is placed in between the top of the two glass plates. 100 ml gel solution with acrylamide 10x TBE buffer, urea, APS and timid is prepared and filtered. It is injected in between the plates by using a syringe. The unit is kept for polymerization for 1 hour. After 1 hour, the bottom safety cover is fixed. 1x TBE buffer is poured and comb is removed. The samples were loaded with dye and the unit is run at 100 watts. Now the buffer is drained. The glass plate and IPC chamber are separated. The plate is kept in fixer and washed with double distilled water. Then the plate is kept in steiner. Again it is washed with double distilled water. Then the plate is treated with developer till the band appears. It is air dried and documented. Likewise, several trites are analyzed with several types of markers and the marker data is generated. Marker data is generated in Excel sheet. The scoring is based on the resemblance of the parents, whether A or B. It is saved as text format using text tab delimited. This is the text format. Now, we are going to use MapMaker. MapMaker version 3 is used. The text format of the data is loaded and the comments are given. Finally, we got the linkage map. This is the linkage map of chromosome 9 in rice, which contains sub-1 locus that confers resistance to submergence.